Good morning, everybody. Ooh, and welcome to Wake Up Missoula. I'm your host, Scott Ramp, just making sure that my audio is on. For a second there, I kind of felt like I was muffled. Uh, so, I'm here to talk to you guys about all the things that are happening in and around the city of Missoula. There's no city council report, so you, you can still bear with me because I got plenty of clips and video stuff to tease for our very last day of our first camp here at MCAT, Animation Camp 1. We have two animation camps this summer. I believe there is still room in a, a couple of our other camps this uh, July, so next week we won't have a camp, but for the next three weeks in mid to late July, we'll be having camps that range from documentary, time traveler uh, to a another animation camp and wrapping things up is our horror film camp uh, known as zombie camp Ooh, okay so let's talk about a little thing about the weather last night it was thundery stormy it was pretty bad there was tornadoes that were touching down in uh, e in central Montana, all sorts of crazy things happening. We'll, we'll get on that a little bit later during our news report. So it is currently 49 degrees outside. It's pretty chilly outside, but your high is going to be 75. Your low is going to be 51. It's going to be mostly cloudy with chances of shower, showers, 40%, that is. Um, Saturday, you're going to be mostly sunny with a s slight chance of showers. Saturday night is going to be mostly clear. Sunday, Sunday uh, Monday, uh, and then Tuesday and all those days, it looks like it's going to be beautiful. Highs in the 80 degrees, lows in the 50 degree temperatures. So it is the perfect time to be out and about starting this weekend. But you might get an early start today as well because it doesn't look too bad, but there is still that 40% chance of rain. All right, let's talk about some news that are happening. Perkins Restaurant is closed in Missoula. You like Perkins? Well, the owners of the 20-year-old, 22-year-old uh, building, Ken and Ricky Sanders, sold the building to new owners who uh, allegedly, well, there's, there's a lot of uh, speculation going around that they might be building a tap room or brewery. Um, owners Ken Sanders said that they, em they employ around 45 people. He and his wife posted a note on the door announcing the closure gave them sadness in their hearts. In other news, uh, today also marks the official day. If you haven't heard, in the last hour, Missoula County Public Schools says as of 2019-2020 school year comes to a close, we say thank you to Superintendent Mark Thane. Uh, for years at the Missoula County Public Schools, first as a student, then as a teacher and leader, have been remarkable. We wish you all the best in your retirement. So Mark Thane marks his retirement with his replacement coming in uh, right now, working on this next school year of 2019 to 20, uh, 2020. So we'll look at all that stuff. But of course, like I said, the weather is the biggest news that are happening in the state of Montana. Strong storms starting to approach. Uh, it wasn't through Helen and Townsend area. Strong winds and large hail were possible as long as those uh, recreating in the Canyon Ferry should uh, seek shelter, according to the National Weather Service in Great Falls. Some tornadoes warnings and touchdowns. Uh, there's a couple cool pictures that people have posted as well of the storm. Hazards included uh, hail uh, the size of baseballs, damaging winds up to 70 miles per hour. And these were some of the places that were affected by the storm that came through uh, central Montana. It was Lewis and Clark County, Jefferson County, Broadwater, Meager, Blaine, uh, Shoto, uh, Cascade, Fergus, uh, Ponderosa, uh, oh, sorry, Liberty, uh, Tenton, Toole, and uh, Blaine counties. And besides that, in the national circuit, Democrats were on their big debate. Uh, that's one of the biggest things that are happening here is who is going to be taking on Trump in the 2020 election. And there are a lot of people in the uh, Democratic election, but uh, our governor, Steve Bullock, was nowhere to be found. Uh, he is in the Iowa. He's in Iowa um, uh, uh, talking about uh, his... Uh, campaign to become president. So he's in Iowa while other folks are in and around. One of the people who uh, who became one of the favorites for the, uh, the debate were Elizabeth Warren, who was the one who did not uh, falter to the first debate against heavy hitters and hope from uh, um, Massachusetts. The hope from Massachusetts senator came in the biggest star and because of that probably had the most pressure put on her. But of course, most of the pressure is going to be put on the person who's going to be running against Trump in 2020. Uh, they didn't really talk too much about how they would go against Trump while well, they spent most of their time saying how uh, much better they are than each other because that's usually how you know debates work anyways election is 17 months away and i don't want to talk about it too much because it, you're going to hear about it forever 
All right, so one of the things that are happening as well is that the Supreme Court is looking to tackle DACA, which for children brought over illegally deferred action for childhood arrivals. Um, this is called Obama's Dreamers Program. Uh, they uh, uh, This is where uh, 800,000 people gain citizenship just from that program. Uh, it's, it was a temporary legal status and protection from deportation for nearly 800,000 young people who were brought to the U.S. with legal, with, uh, Okay, so of course the Trump administration sought to end of that, saying that uh, within the first seven months of the Obama administration, the Obama's Dreaming Program granted them status illegally. Uh, of course, in the past, Trump and family members were in support of DACA in the first place, saying that these are great kids and expressing in love for them. The Supreme Court hearing in DACA will take place about a year from now, um, when the 2020 presidential elections will start and will play a major role in the election. All right, so that's kind of what's happening in your news today. I have a couple new programs that are going to be airing on MCAT, so here is a little uh, taste of what you guys can watch this weekend on MCAT. And when we come back, we're going to talk about some crappy movies that are coming out this weekend that you guys can skip. Going past each other, uh, going to their own fires. And it was not very efficient. And uh, I can't remember exactly when, but I think it was in the 80s, uh, the, an effort was made uh, by the, uh, the agencies, the state and federal agencies, to reduce that confusion. And they decided that they would split up the state of Montana uh, to do fire protection. Uh, and so you didn't have fire engines crisscrossing each other across the state. So the BLM took most of eastern Montana uh, for their fire protection uh, and protected state, private, and uh, Forest Service and BLM lands. It is our responsibility to take that torch and move forward. As a direct provider at Blue Mountain Clinic, we see all types of individuals coming in for abortion care. It doesn't matter if kids, no kids, they don't want kids. They already have, I mean, there's all types. There's no one face that fits this care. The last thing we need is Washington making decisions about what's inside of our bodies. I, I don't have a whole lot else to say. I think Nancy said it really, really well. Um, but I just think it's really important that we carry on the legacy of Judy Smith, of Sally Mullen, of all the Missoula women specifically, because there are many of them, but it's our responsibility to carry on the very important work that they did before us. So. This effort to sort of extend the reach of the party, not just in politics, but in economics and in society, has been much uh, increased and much more emphasized under Xi Jinping. So there's been a whole push to bring the party back into universities, for example. Um, so the party, the party, there's always been a, a party groups within the universities, and they've al always been powerful. They're, they're supposed to get, become much more powerful now. As I mentioned a second ago, private companies. There's been a big push for Chinese private companies. If they don't have them yet, they're supposed to set up a private uh, party arm. Uh, the joint ventures with foreign companies, the American companies, they have to, they've been increasingly told you have to have a branch of the party in your company. So, uh, but how long the party will last, you know, yeah, I don't, it's anyone's, it's anyone's guess. What's up, people? Let's talk about some, uh, Terrible movies that are coming out this weekend, and why not? You know, it's still another week until Spider-Man comes out. So let's talk about some of the other movies that are coming out. And this is uh, one of them is basically Annabelle Homecoming, or otherwise Annabelle Come Homes, because Homecoming was already taken by Spider-Man. From the people who, from the Conjuring comes a person who sets off a demonic Raggedy Ann. Trust me, if you actually look up the true story behind uh, this Annabelle character, it's actually Raggedy Ann, which is probably why they call it Annabelle. So, but they don't have the rights to the proper, so they just do a run-of-the-mill creepy doll, porcelain, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, in the vein of inan inanimate objects that are cursed, this is the movie. And I think this is like the fourth movie because they did Annabelle. 
and then they did Annabelle Origins, and then now they're doing Annabelle Comes Home, which is like kind of like the the kind of like the end all because it kind of sets up the uh, a Conjuring universe. Yeah, it's these movies where they just kind of like say, he's like, all these movies are related. Just 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 go with it. Just don't think about it too much. And if you do, uh, yeah, it's it's just what it is. Because it, if you really do think about it, even the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it's kind of whack. So, anyways, this is a movie that's coming out. If you're looking for cheap scares and cheap thrills, and if you're already invested in the franchise, apparently, then here you go. Annabelle creation. All right. Hey, you know, if you like living in alternate realities, you know, from the makers, <laughs> you know what would be weird? Comes a movie where a man hits his head and goes into an alternate reality where the Beatles did not exist. So this is basically the kid in King Arthur's court, but in ca in, in, instead of this, the Beatles never existed, so the guy knows, like, wait, I know the Beatles. And he's like, I want to totally capitalize on the mu Beatles music. And he starts playing Beatles music, and it becomes popular like the Beatles, and so there's a lot of Beatles tropes in this movie without actually having the Beatles. So it's, it's interesting. So I guess if the Beatles weren't popular, I guess people would be like, rolling Stones, pretty much, or uh, what? What are the UK bands? Uh, the Kinks, um, uh, the Monkeys. Actually, the Monkeys seems like it was like a. Oh yeah, that's only uh, Davy Jones was like the only British one there. Anyways, I don't know. This is it's kind of weird. Like, who would be the Beatles if the Beatles weren't around? Anyways, moving on to the next thing. This is a documentary, so you uh, what you see is what you get. So this is the first maiden voyage of an all-female crew sailing around, which is called the uh, Whitbread Round World Race in 1989. So this is about a year after I was born. The race is that has a lot of uh, sea guys. Uh, documentaries are a thing that will probably be playing in uh, small select theaters. I don't expect to see this in like big AMC theaters because uh, the last big uh, documentary that was there was They Shall Never Be Forgotten, but apparently AMC kind of forgot about it because they kind of played it like once or twice while it was here in Missoula. So. Documentaries! It's called Maiden. It's their maiden voyage. Get it? Funny. All right. <laughs> Those are the movies that are coming out this weekend. I have a special movie for you guys. And this is a movie made by some of the kids um, from our... Um, let's see. Let me actually see if I can find it. Okay. I found it. Don't worry. This is a movie uh, made by some of the kids here in here at MCAT during our animation camp. This is not animation, of course. This is some live action stuff. So without further ado, here is... Um, uh, uh, I think it's called Cute Die. So here it is. Alright, guys, I got this fan. It'll keep you nice and cool. <laughs> hey, Tanner. Hey, Cooper. Hello. How's your movie coming along? Good. Nice. We'll keep up the good work and just let me know if you need anything, okay? Okay. What a jerk. Yep. What was that? Why am I talking to myself? Huh, boo -ba -doo -boo -ba -boo -boo. huh. Oh, hey, what are you doing here? Uh. It's too much! No! No! Oh, another homeless person. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. You've been for a really traumatic experience. It wasn't dramatic. It was adorable. Want any snacks? Yes, please. Got any money? No. Son, in your own words, how was the experience for you? It was just adorably horrifying. I guess it's the cute serial killer again. I'm gonna get that son of a b We're the two last to see Scott alive after the cute incident. So I have one question for you. Am I, like, cute? No. Oh, come on. A oh. little cute? No. Totally cute? Mm. No. Adorable? Fantastic? 
That was strange. I don't even think that's a real detective question. Am I cute? Did you mm -hmm. say that? No. <gasps> Who did this? It was you! I will get you. Today on the world of carpets, we have an office building carpet. It looks very good. And as you come down, you can see it took a long time to make. People don't understand about carpets. They're just carpets. Ooh, look, a change. A week of therapy has been so better, and I can't even imagine how worse it's gonna get. Oh, oh my gosh, another dead body. Okay, it's okay. I know this has happened to you again, but you, you'll be okay. The blanket doesn't help. The blanket always helps. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. What, you want me to bring you down to the station to feel a little more safer? Yeah. I've got all the evidence I need. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh my god, another dead body. Must have forgot to put him in processing. You got all the footage I need to get that son of a... Bill, come in here. I'll show you something. Oh, what's up? Oh, isn't that cute? Hey! What's going on? What are you guys doing? Do you think this is cute? Oh. Mm. Oh, that's a shame. Look at that chicken hats. Why oh, are you looking at chicken hats? Look at this. Oh, no! Ah! Whoa. Oh my god, I miss like everything. What happened? I think she committed cuticide. <laughs> And those are some of the things you guys can expect from today's live show here at MCAT. It's going to be at 5 p.m. It's going to feature all the kids from our uh, animation camp this week. So enjoy that. All right, so let's talk a little bit about some of these programs and some of the things. You know, Of course, you've seen some of these videos uh, that I've shown you guys. Uh, most of this you, you can watch on our, uh, on our website. You can watch it on our channel, 189, of course. Uh, I post this on YouTube, but also I uh, go put this on our Facebook page. MCAT.org is a great place for uh, you to streamline a lot of your uh, movie-making needs, uh, documentary making needs. MCAT is a great source for renting equipment for people to make programs. The only stipulation is that you have to provide a, a program that will air on MCAT. You, re you retain the rights to all your programs, but it's just something that we ask that you guys do is that the intention of coming here is the intention of making a program. So once again, MCAT.org, your source for everything, television, media, just getting started, you know? You never know what you uh, want to learn, but it's a good uh, stepping tool, and we're here to help you along that path. All right, so moving on, if you want to learn more about my morning show, uh, wakeupmissoula.wikisite.com slash wakeupmissoula. You can find me on YouTube, Facebook, and the Twitter, uh, all at wakeupmissoula, so you can't miss out on any of that stuff. So let's talk about some events that are happening here in Missoula, of course. Um, you know, there's always, always something going on. There's a bunch of indoor stuff, indoor gym stuff. You know, you got, because, uh, you know, it's raining outside, it's kind of wet. You might want to go to uh, uh, Bitter Gymnastics, uh, Roots Acro Sports, actually that's, that is Bitterroot Gymnastics, is Roots Acro Sports, no, they changed their name. Uh, you got uh, Missoula Under Sports Arena, you also have, uh, what else? Flying Squirrel, boom, Mismo, Flying Squirrel, Missoula Under Sports Arena, 
all sorts of wonderful things. Uh, Family's First Children Museum is doing a mobile exhibit. They do this during their story time in Tiny Tales at the Missoula Public Library. It is a good chance for uh, parents to meet and greet with the Family's First Children's Museum. Family's First is a good organization that really helps parents who are struggling with uh, the emotions of their children. So. Tiny Tales is also a great place. This is a unique program held every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday at 10.30 a.m. They also have uh, Tiny Tales at um, Empower Place, which is at the Missoula Food Bank on Wednesdays. Uh, this, uh, m they must be accompanied by an adult lap. Uh, participants will sing songs, learn fi finger plays and nursery rhymes, and hear stories. Um, kids learn a lot of new words every single day, and this is a good place to learn them. And also a good place to learn some yarn or watercolor as at the Missoula Public Library starting at noon today. Uh, it's usually done every single Friday. This is a good way to stitch or you can just do some watercolors. It's a good way to just get a start on all this stuff as well. If you're interested in going to uh, the best dance floor in Missoula, Missoula uh, Senior Center is doing their cribbage and bridge. You get to have lunch. You get to destroy some people at some cribbage and or bridge. Comedy Camp, Zootown Arts Community, uh, Community Center is doing a a comedy camp from 1 to 4 p.m. It's a uh, learn to make people laugh through stand-up comedy and improvisation. They're going to explore everything about comedy performances from joke writing to storytelling to physical humor to ad lib. At the same time, learn about building your confidence and connecting with audiences through humor. It all ends with a live performance Friday night, which is tonight. Um, I believe they'll I, they'll tell you more about it if you ask. So once again, it's the Zach. You can go to uh, ZootownArtsCommunityCenter.org for more information. Wire wrapped daisy pot earrings with Marika. Bath Bathing Beauties, it's all about, uh, this is an instruction class, which is free with purchase of, of course, the materials. You buy the raw materials, but it's a good way to make your own jewelry. And it's, you know, it's usually $15 a person. You'll need to pick out uh, materials upon registration, so be sure to leave on time. Once registration, you'll receive 20% off that day. Uh, it's basically Bathing Beauties beads. They do all sorts of things. You know, Painting with a Twist is another uh, place that they do a lot of great classes where they ask you to uh, pay for the materials and partially for the classes. It's not too expensive. It's pretty reasonable. Uh, MCT, this whole week, they, they uh, pretty much uh, Missoula Children's Theater. It's all about the children this summer. The little red trucks are going all over, but here in Missoula, they have basically, they're dropping all these uh, theater programs. This today is Rapunzel. 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. Two different performances with two different groups of kids. A lot of times they split the kids up, and one ki some kids do performances at 4 p.m. Other kids do performances at 6 p.m. So your kid might be the late or not, but they still get a chance to prove themselves. And the Missoula Children's Theater is proud to present Rapunzel. So Rapunzel, the story of Rapunzel happened in France. Well. The story takes you from a frivolous frolic to the French countryside. The ogre's garden, the mushroom patch with the corn and potato spies report back to Madame Gothel. Um, Frenchie and his intense friends, the Wood Elves, do their best to help Rapunzel escape the grasp of Madame Gothel. The lost prince, Rapunzel's parents, and her friends, by the unicorns, try to help. Just when you think it's safe to cross the bridge, a troll and the billy goats, Gruff, get in the way. Of course, you can watch all this stuff. It is a bunch of silly characters, a uh, silly tale of personal triumph and friendship. Here is an uh, art clip for you guys. If you guys are going out and about, you know, there's a couple art museums you guys can check out, and this one is, a, uh, let's see, let's see wh where I can find this one. I just want to make sure where this is at. This is at the Clay Studio, and this will be at the Clay Studio until the end of this month. So today is the last day you guys can check out this art clip, um, and then next month. I'll be doing uh, shows every Friday. So next Friday, I'm going to be talking about all the art clips. So I'm going to talk about side events right after this.
Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, let's talk a little bit about, uh, you know, some Saturday events. You know, you guys are interested in going out and about on Saturday. There's a lot of stuff going on here, and it's the Missoula 5K, which is the prelude to the Missoula Marathon, which will be happening on Sunday. Uh, Missoula 5K is a fun way to participate in the Marathon Weekend, whether you are a family member of a marathon or, or just want to shake off your legs for the marathon or just want to race a great 5K, which is going to be great. They usually uh, start off... Uh, Cares Park, and then from then they just go off. But of course, the Missoula Marathon will basically close down. Oh, oh man, all of downtown Missoula, and you'll be able to uh, check it all out, kicking off on Sunday. Farmers Market, that's another big thing that's happening, starting at 8, 8 a.m., and it's from 8 to 1 p.m. It is a great way to enjoy some um, food stuff. You know, buy some fresh vegetables. There's a lot of great stuff going on right now. But of course, my favorite time of uh, the year for a farmer's market is usually August when they have the peppers freshly grown and they do some uh, roasted peppers, which are <coughs> delicious and extremely spicy. So be careful of that as well. Even like even the mild ones are not pretty spicy. So you might want to be careful for that. Or maybe my taste buds are changing. Who knows? That's too much information. Okay, moving on. The Blackfoot <laughs> Rendezvous. Uh, this is a part of, uh, it, this is going to be in Potomac. This is an annual fundraiser of the Potomac School Explorers Program. Come enjoy the beautiful Potomac Valley with beer from Wildwood Brewery, music by Texas Tom and the Potomac Bluegrass Guys, draft horse wagon rides, and a Brad Hall pony rides, face painting, gold rush, dig, carnival games, treasure hunting, and the annual flea market tables, barbecue artists and vendors, great silent auctions, baked goodies, and more. So much stuff going on. This is going to be at Potomac, which is 29 827 Potomac Road, Potomac. Starts at 10 a.m., pretty much goes on all day. Uh, KBGA Yard Sale. College Radio. KBGA has started to clean up all of their stuff. Stop by the ground, ground floor of the parking garage on campus and check out the goods, including snowboard, uh, KBGA merch. There's always snowboards because every, every college student is like, yo, man, you go snowboarding, and they go snowboarding, and they're just like, mm. well, See ya. <laughs> All proof students go to your favorite college radio stations, KBGA. If you're interested in donation items, sales, drop by the Facebook message page. You can go to uh, University Center Room 208 for more information. Also, it is just a great uh, resource for college students to sell their goods and get rid of some of their old cluttered stuff as well. But of course, you know, uh, college has been long over, so there's probably... Uh, some cool stuff there you guys can get while it's still there. Okay, if you're new to Medicare, uh, they're doing a workshop at the uh, UM campus. This is co uh, the Continuing Education Conference Center, which is the James E. Todd building. From 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. if you're approaching the age of 65 or eligible for Medicare due to disability, learn how you can make the most of your Medicare options. And it starts at 10 a.m. starting Saturday morning. Uh, Arbor term tour with focus on Montana broadleaf trees. So if you are about all about them trees, uh, discover your state of Montana uh, at the US con uh, uh, on the UM campus. They have so many trees there. They have over 2,300 trees of more than 100 species, some planted over 100 years ago, and new ones planted just this year. This is an organization uh, into eight forest regions of North America. The tour will begin at uh, 11 a.m. northeast of the Oval, the route just north of Main Hall and west of the University Center. They're hanging out there. I believe it's by that cannon uh, by the University Center, but uh, don't quote me on that. I believe it's actually, wait, it's by that s sculpture thing. It's almost near the where the journalism area It's not the journalism building, which is, uh, which would turn into like a classrooms, Don Esser Hall, which is the new journalism building. I don't know. I'm probably more confusing than anything. Just go to the middle of the Oval and look around for a group of people. All right, so <laughs> Moon Randolph Homestead, they do a two-hour class. Uh, they're doing, uh, sorry, no, that's that's the next thing, Moon Randolph Home Homestead. It's a good chance for people to go out there and learn about the homesteading because homesteading was a big thing in Montana, and from 11 to 5 p.m., Moon Randolph Homestead does uh, homestead tours, and they do this every single Saturday all summer long. They also have summer camps for your, some of your kids. We're... Uh, w one kid has been quoted in saying, is like, I didn't know chores could be so much fun. Uh, which is kind of crazy to think about if you uh, have trouble getting your kids to do chores. So it's a camp about doing chores and stuff, so it kind of tricks kids into getting busy with chores. Um, I probably shouldn't have said that that way. Jutown Arts Community Center, two-hour class, family printmaking workshop with Linda Cohen. This summer, the Zach is offering family uh, programming on Saturday with sessions taught by local artist Linda Cohen, a.k.a. the Steampunk Lady. Um, learn how to create monoprints using materials you already have at home, like shaving cream or balloons. Um, each registered adult can bring two kids to join them in a free class. So I believe you have to register online or register by calling the Zach. 
Okay, the Higgins Ridge Fire. This is the National Museum Forest History. This is a free public panel presentation featuring 11 out of 14 remaining smoke jumpers and the pilot in the riveting story of bravery, heroism, and leadership trapped by wildfire that blew up on the Higgins Ridge. The entire 20-person smoke jumping crew was sure to perish. However, helicopter pilot knew they were in trouble, flew to Higgins Ridge on his own initiative, and in a series of landings, rescued all 20, taking two people with him in a cockpit while two hung on the helicopter skids. So hear this amazing story at the campus, National Museum of Forest Service History, at the Higgins Ridge, f about the Higgins Ridge fire. And if you don't know where this is, I believe this is just a little bit past the airport. They have a kind of like a, a mock tower, uh, for, you know, like there's a wa fire watch towers, and it's going to be uh, further up there. But uh, you should totally double check and learn more about this. This is happening Saturday afternoon at three. This looks sounds really cool. Uh, Nerf on turf in Missoula under sports uh, Missoula under sports arena is doing a murder her front turf, which runs Fridays from four to five p.m. Saturdays from six to nine. Sundays from five to eight. You can come to as an individual or bring your friends to join the group. Um, it's a you know Missoula indoor sports arena. You can learn more about it by going to Missoula indoor dot com slash nerf. Adrift, Mask Studio, they're doing a performance tomorrow night. It's ready, the, the sails, and uh, raise the anchor. It's time for another circus show other, uh, in the round. Missoula's own kind of circus ole kind of deal. It's Mask Studio. Enjoy an evening of original circus acts, live music by Red Onion Purple, and two delectable desserts crafted by Vida Living Solutions. Doors open at 8 30, 7.30, and show is at 8 o'clock. So those are some of the events that are happening as well. Um, if you guys are interested in going out and about tonight, they have Idle Ranch Hands is going to be at the Union Club. You got 406 Country Music going to be at the Sunrise Saloon. You got Neon Lights at the Flying Squirrel. You got Lolo Creek at, uh, it's going to be some country music at the Quinn's Resort. Metal Night at the Dark Horse. So a bunch of, so basically you're going to have some country music. And right next door to it is the Dark Horse, which is, you know, Sunrise Saloon and Dark Horse are basically the same building. But you have some heavy metal and country folks blending together because they both use the same bathroom. <laughs> Pretty much. All right. Anyways, uh, Saturday night. If you guys are interested in going about Saturday, Saturday late night, they got some great stuff. Uh, you got some DJ music, absolutely with Christian Wind of the Ballander. Uh, they got some karaoke at the Little Hot Springs. They get Cash for Junkers, which is some uh, cool dance music at the Union Club. And then they have Turkaz, which is funk music, at Top Hat Lounge. And if you guys are interested in going to Deer Lodge, I will be performing for the Music Man. So if you think it's terrible, you know who to blame. Moving on. Marathon. Can you ever see me at the marathon? Probably not. Who knows? I'm not that old. Missoula Marathon and Half Marathon starting at 6 a.m. at Karis Park. The Missoula Marathon Half Marathon is a fast USATF certified, which means it's, it's, it's uh, the eligibility for uh, the Boston Marathon qualifier. The marathon, of course, does have significant hill. At the halfway point, the course is a point-to-point -point beginning with a scenic route through the countryside and finishing in the historic downtown Missoula. The marathon course is well marked with both cones and arrows on the road. You'll notice every mile is marked on the road with a 8-foot tall mile marker. So they'll be doing this. Missoula Marathon and Half Marathon. Check it out. Uh, 6 a.m. is the start time. You'll be seeing people finish around 8, 8.30, depending upon how long it takes. Um, it really just depends. So... Those are some of your events. If you're interested in seeing any of these events and more, you can go to MissoulaEvents.net. Hey, what's going on in Missoula? MissoulaEvents.net. That's where you can learn all about it. All right, so that about does it for my morning show. Uh, you know, this has been an interesting time. You know, MCAT is uh, in a process of transition. Um, you know, we got all our summer camp stuff right now. Uh, this next year, we're going to live pretty tight. So a lot of our public hours are going to be adjusted. It's going to be, we're usually open from 11 to 5, Tuesday through Friday. Uh, we're going to be doing that next week. Uh, we have uh, July 4th off, so we won't be open on July 4th, but we'll be open on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you want to come in, check out any equipment. If you want to call us, our number is 542-6228, otherwise known as 542-MCAT. Uh, you can sign up online for our MCAT, but you can also sign up here by filling out a form. But we're trying to get off the paper deal, so... We'll teach you guys how to use camera equipment and more. But then again, if you are pr an existing producer and you want to make a movie, make a documentary, we'll, uh, and just basically learn editing skills, you can get in contact with us at uh, MCAT and MCAT.org, or you can just call us 542-MCAT, which is 542-6228. Ooh! All right, I'm done. Thank you guys for joining me. <laughs> and for Wake Up Missoula, I'm Scott Rev. So take care and play that music. <laughs>